Love this podcast? Support this show through the ACAST supporter feature. It's up to you how much you give, and there's no regular commitment. Just click the link in the show description to support now. Let's talk hydration. See, I carry something to drink with me every single place that I go because I am concerned about being dehydrated. It runs in the family. Everything from dry mouth, dizzy spells, fainting, it's pretty serious. And I've tried all the different types of waters and sports drinks. Let me tell you something right now. Liquid IV. That has been the most efficient at keeping me hydrated and doing so pretty quickly. Okay, Liquid IV has five essential vitamins and is two times faster at keeping you hydrated than water alone. And I'm serious, man. Everything from vitamin C to vitamins B3, B5, B6, B12... Liquid IV also is non-GMO, so it's free from gluten, dairy, soy. So for all you folks out there with food allergies, this may be right up your alley. And I know what you're thinking, but how does it taste, Duke? Well, it tastes pretty good. Okay, we're talking my favorite in pina colada. They also have tropical punch, strawberry, new flavors like sea berry and strawberry lemonade. Huh, you can enjoy this stuff, man. But don't take my word for it. I want you to stop what you're doing right now and head over to liquidiv.com. Use the promo code Duke Loves Wrestling so you get 20% off your entire order. I mean, anything that you order on liquidiv.com. So what are you waiting for? It's time for you to shop better hydration today. Use the promo code Duke Loves Wrestling over at liquidiv.com. Save yourself 20%. Stay hydrated. Most importantly, enjoy life. That's right. Brothers and sisters, there are flavored malt beverage thinking, skinny jean sagging folks out there that will lead you to believe that the greatest era in WWE history was the Attitude Era. There are others who will have you believe it is the Ruthless Aggression Era. There are even some who will have you believe it is the rockin' wrestling Hulk Hogan era. This week on the Duke Loves Wrestling podcast, I am here to deliver the most top-shelf discussion about the greatest period in WWE history, which is none of the periods listed previously. Uh -uh. Uh-uh. The greatest period in WWE history, brothers and sisters, is today. Locked in. Look at what we have here, folks. To the only show that matters. The cream of the crop. Duke loves wrestling. And there is no one that does it better than your host. I have come here to chew bubblegum and kick ass. The Duke. And I'm all out of bubblegum. Welcome back to the Duke Loves Wrestling Podcast, the show about pro wrestling and everything else. Brothers and sisters, we are living in the greatest period in WWE history, and it's not even close. It's not even close. There is no reason to believe that anything that you have ever seen previously could even compare to what you're seeing today. And I know some of you out there You are beside yourself with the skinny jeans sagging that you need to pull them up. (laughs) Pull them up. You are beside yourself. I cannot believe Duke is doing this. We're going to cancel him. Circle the wagons. Oh, my goodness. Triple H, new Coke, go get him. Newsflash. Everything that I'm saying to you is a fact. It's not a belief. It's not uh, an assumption. It's not a figment of my imagination. No, it's a fact. And I'm going to prove it to you. We could start from the very beginning. The voice of the modern WWE is the voice of Michael Cole. Michael Cole is the greatest commentator in the history of all that has ever been called pro wrestling. He is greater than everyone that you could think of. Michael Cole is can tell the story, enhance the match that you see before you on television, plug the the TV show, the sponsor, the pay-per-view coming up, matches that are going to happen later in the night, 
and still be able to be present enough to know what's going on, leave room from whoever his commentary partner is, no matter how experienced or inexperienced they are, and ultimately leave you saying, okay, I understand what's going on. I get it. Wow, that's exciting. You put that same match before anyone else where they have to cover all those bases, and I guarantee you they're going to fail. We've seen it happen time and time again. Why? Because no one can carry the load the way that Michael Cole can carry the load. It's just a fact. WWE Hall of Famer Jim Ross, good old JR, has gone on record time and time again pointing out that Michael Cole, is <laughs> no one could do what he can do. He has an impossible job, but yet he does it in an excellent manner. There's no question about that. But JR has fallen short. He needs to put the barbecue sauce down, pull up his skinny jeans, pull that hat down, and repeat after me. I, good old JR, the Oki, proclaim Michael Cole the greatest commentator of all time. I can't hold his golden microphone. You need to get it done, JR. It's time for you to accept the fact that Michael is your daddy. It's just as simple as that. He is the, not only is he the daddy, he's the granddaddy of them all. Michael Cole is the greatest. Tony Schiavone, Gordon Soley, listen, Joey Styles, you all need to pay homage to Michael Cole because none of you, none of you have been able to perform at that level with that much pressure consistently for as long as he's been able to do it. Michael Cole is incredible. I'm not here to disrespect anybody. I'm not here to say that other people aren't good. It's just that you're not the best. There's only simply the best. There's only one best, and that's Michael Cole. He's the voice of the WWE during the greatest period in the history of the WWE that automatically makes Michael Cole the best. But it doesn't end there. That's just the beginning. Has there ever been a visionary greater at executing their vision and being successful as a result of it in the wrestling industry? Has there ever been anyone greater at that than Vincent Kennedy McMahon? I'll answer that question for you because you're taking too long. No. Nobody does it better. Nobody does it better, baby. Vince McMahon is the greatest visionary. He is the greatest at executing. He is the most successful pro wrestling promoter of all time. There will never be a period in the history of this industry where anyone will be as successful as Vince McMahon has been. And the most incredible thing is he is so far above everyone that's ever done the job before him that you can't even put them in the same conversation. Vince McMahon is competing with himself and his previous successes. And the craziest part about it is he just sold the WWE for $9 billion, with a B, billion dollars. A company that was worth right around $3 billion. Are you kidding me? This is a man who legitimately will never be surpassed in that regard. How was he able to get the company up to a point where they could be viewed as being that valuable? That is incredible. Publicly traded. The stocks are up. People are making money hand over fist. It's incredible. You're going to tell me that someone's greater than Vince McMahon? More importantly, you're going to tell me that there could have ever been a greater period than the period where Vince McMahon made WWE the most money it's ever made ever? (laughs) Are you kidding me? He's the greatest. Greatest of all time. During the greatest period of all time. And the best part about it is his best work is ahead of him, not even behind him. His best work is happening every week. Vincent Kennedy McMahon, like Michael Cole. Simply the best. But it doesn't end there. Roman Reigns. There's never been a bigger main eventer than Roman Reigns. Listen, I'm going to tell you right now. 
don't talk to me about Stone Cold Steve Austin. Don't talk to me about Hulk Hogan. Don't even talk to me about John Cena. There has never been a bigger main eventer than Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns is not just responsible for making sure that the people who are at the live event are entertained, are, are interested in coming back for more. Roman Reigns is getting it done on the internet. He's getting it done on television. He's getting it done at premium live events. He's getting it done at pay-per-view. He's getting it done in your mama's house. Roman Reigns is the greatest superstar in the history. Not only of WWE, but of all of pro wrestling. There has never been anyone like Roman Reigns, and there never will be anyone like Roman Reigns. He is the greatest. How do I know it? Because we vote with our pocketbooks. We vote with our change purses. We vote with our tap cards. We vote with our money, honey. And ain't nobody getting more of it than Roman Reigns. He's the draw. The tribal chief. Right? Can you honestly look yourself in the mirror and tell me that there's ever been a wrestler who's been a bigger draw than Roman Reigns? Are you kidding me? It's not possible. One Saudi event alone will prove to you that it's not possible. What wrestler is drawing $50 million in the main event? Stop it right now. It's not possible. It's not possible. (laughs) What wrestler can be on top For so many years that the company has had record profits over and over and over and over again to the point where the company could be sold for nine billion dollars. A wrestling company. It's not possible. There's only one person who can stake that claim and it be legitimate. The tribal chief. Roman Reigns. We have never seen. Anyone with this degree of star power who has been able to execute in such a manner that you have to literally sit back and say to yourself, damn, is this real? That's how incredible the guy is. And oh, by the way, he has battled and defeated and battled and defeated again leukemia. This is a man on borrowed time. He's fighting the invisible war. It's knocked him down a few times and he's gone back up and kept going. The fact that he can be the greatest superstar of all time, despite the fact that he has such a serious disease that's attacking him. (laughs) Roman Reigns, listen. You better forget about a statue. You better build an entire planet or carve his face into an entire planet because it is Roman Reigns' universe and we're just living in it. Okay? Greatest of all time. You look at the WWE women, and I know some of you are going to shake your head right now, tell me that I'm going too far, but you listen to this. Charlotte Flair, Bianca Belair. Rhea Ripley, Bailey, Iro Shirai, Asuka, Becky Lynch, Trish Stratus. Are you kidding me? I haven't even mentioned anyone from NXT yet. Are you kidding me? That crop alone, those eight people alone, I'll put them up against any eight that you have that can't compare. Let's make it a 10. Ronda Rousey. Shayna Baszler, there's your 10. Now, you give me 10 women any era in WWE history that could draw more money, that could get more done than those 10 women. It's not possible. You may have exceptions to the rule, Sasha Banks, Nia Jax. I take nothing away from Naomi. I take nothing away from these legends, future Hall of Famers. But you can't give me a 10 greater than the 10 that I just gave you 
and tell me that they can outdraw the 10 that I just gave you. It's not possible. The greatest collection of women's wrestling talent in the history of WWE. And they have the money in the bank to prove it. Period. I told you. This is this is an opinion. This, these are facts. It's a law. And I will send Popo over there to arrest you right now if you violate the law. How about that? Sick and tired of people with their flavored malt beverage breath, sagging skinny jeans, pull them up. Want to sit here and tell me that somehow, some way, the modern version of the WWE in 2023 is inadequate in any way, shape, or form. I'm sorry. It doesn't work that way. This is the greatest period in history. Fact. Then we talk about what's going on in NXT. That next layer of superstar talent is coming. Carmelo Hayes, Braun Breaker, Tiffany Stratton, Sol Roca, Roxanne. That next level, the Creed Brothers, that next level. <laughs> Man, Trick Williams. Is anyone better on the mic right now than Trick Williams? No. That next level. It's incredible what's happening right now. This is the greatest period in WWE history. So my question to you is, why aren't you more present? What are you doing? You are, you are blessed with riches right now and you don't even realize. Look at that card in SummerSlam. They started the night out. This is how stacked that SummerSlam card was. They started the night out with Ricochet versus Logan Paul. That's a main event. And they started the night with that match. YouTuber turned boxer turned WWE superstar. One of the most recognizable figures in the nation, by the way. Top four in the company for Google search results, by the way. The only people that generate more Google search results than Logan Paul are Roman Reigns and Ronda Rousey. Logan Paul's number three. <laughs> what does that tell you? What does that tell you? This guy is a, is a mega star. Right? That was the first match of the night. And then they gave us Brock Lesnar versus Cody Rhodes. <laughs> it's like, what? And neither one of those matches were the main event. Well, they, they could main event WrestleMania with either one of those matches. And they, and they deliver, too. It's great matches. Think about the talent that was on that card. L.A. Knight. Did you forget about him? He's coming. Walter. Oscar. Bianca. Charlotte. Rousey. Baszler. Roman. Main Event J. <laughs> Just an embarrassment of riches. Almost. Made his return. This is the greatest period in the history of the WWE. Greatest period in the history of all of pro wrestling. You have to pay homage. This is the law. I'm telling you right now, pull up your skinny jeans. Do not come up in here with that flavored malt beverage talk. This is top shelf. Kudos to the WWE for being so great. They're not perfect, but this is just the best. <laughs> That's all. It's just the best. Duke Loves Wrestling on Gmail. Duke Loves Wrestling, Twitter, Facebook. I, I'm not even asking you to tell me what you think. I, I want you to reach out to me and tell me I'm right. That's it. I don't want to listen. If you disagree, I already know that your skinny jeans are sagging too much. I already know 
that you've ingested too much flavored malt beverage. I don't trust your your decision making skills. You couldn't even give me directions on how to get to the to the latest corner store. I'm sorry. I don't trust you. You got bad decision making skills if you're going to tell me anything other than the fact that this is the greatest period in WWE history. If you don't agree with that, I don't even want to be anywhere near you because you are a danger to yourself and society because you don't make sense. Period. You don't make sense. We have to tell the truth about what's happening. We need to document it properly. Years from now, archaeologists are going to be digging through whatever the modern internet is, and they're going to hear this proclamation from Duke Loves Wrestling, and they're going to be able to say, we found it, the greatest period ever in WWE history, in pro wrestling history, in sports entertainment history. The Duke has acknowledged 2023 as the greatest of all time. That's right. All right, listen, be kind to yourselves and be kind to others. There's nothing more for me to say. I just, listen, (laughs) you know, folks are going to have a hard time with what I just said. I'm not going to talk about the fact that AEW is losing in the ratings in the UK. You know, they, they've, they've lost most of their audience. They're, they're getting a third of the, of the viewership, you know, compared to what they were getting just six months ago. Ever since they announced that they were going to do all in at Wembley Stadium, less people have been watching their programming, which calls into question if they really sold 78,000 tickets or not. That's a, Listen, I'm not going to talk about that. <laughs> okay, we're going to save that for another episode. Right now, I want you to marinate on the fact that this is the greatest period in WWE history. That's right. This is Tony Schiavone, and we're definitely out of time on Duke Love Wrestling.